five stars already in the middle of their primes. Jokic, Giannis, two of the game's best players last several years, already NBA champs, several MVPs under their belt. Joel Embiid already reached peak regular season form, but will he finally perform to stay in the come playoff time? Julius Randle proved doubters wrong back to all-star form. Will he step up next postseason? Pascal Siakam still with Toronto. Expect these five to continue balling out. The three MVPs likely still headline the race from season start to finish, but a couple players will look to enter the spotlight, try elevating their names to MVP discussions, eight players to finally start entering their primes in a couple weeks. Starting with Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns, after experiencing a taste of the finals to getting humiliated as the one seed to flat out being unconscious last playoffs, the soon to be 27 year old separated himself amongst his 2015 draft mates from having his best statistical season, almost 28 points, respectable passer at the 2, an efficient near 50% from the field, legitimately has himself in the top 10 discussion, absolutely took his game to another level after Phoenix acquired KD, allowed Book to tour guys, 11 playoff games, blistering 33.7 point average over 7 assists, very capable being the playmaker post CP era, a roller coaster career starting out on a horrible franchise from flying under the radar, only known for a 70 point masterpiece as a 20 year old, surrounded by underachieving lottery picks, a disgusting team record 109 and 223 before CP 3's arrival, from not even sniffing the postseason to making the finals his first playoff run, his game not really on athleticism, improved defense every year, Phoenix will need him to do plenty of that with the addition of Bradley Beal already being an elite scorer for years. Book's mid-range pull-up now unstoppable, putting in those hours with the great KD. Phoenix will absolutely win many games getting buckets on buckets from labeled one-dimensional years ago. Deep book in today's day and age, easily the best shooting guard in the NBA. All that talk about the Lakers Nuggets and even teammate Durant still getting more shine. This coming season's absolutely books time. Grown in front of our eyes last several years, the most spectacular playoff performer outside of Jokic and Jimmy Butler last season, entering year 9, doesn't get the same level of love as the Tatums and even John Moran's of the world. Book might not have his best individual numbers, but will absolutely do what's necessary to win and contend for a title. Donovan Mitchell, now entering year 7, 27 year old out of Louisville, incredible regular season performer, led Cleveland to the playoffs, but still lost to be desired, has the same flaws, inconsistent, too unpredictable, way too streaky, from a career best 28.3 point average, 48% from the field, his last several postseasons, Highly disappointing and underachieving from the Nuggets bubble series to 2021, 17 games of averaging 34, 5 assists, 48% from the field, and over 46 from 3, a huge drop off and letdown from 22 and 23, expecting to beat the Luka Liss Mavs first 3 games, ended up down 2-1, got caught by Jalen Brunson as the favorite versus Dallas and New York, 24 and a half point average, 41% shooting, under 25 from 3, after making second team all NBA, from getting off to a fast start, ongoing rumors he still wants to be a Knicks still alive, his team a weird fit with the awkward front court of Allen and Mobley, Garland being only 6 foot, the guard spots too undersized, although Cleveland being small market flies under the radar, not mentioned with the Bucks, Celtics, Heat or Knicks, Donovan's got all the regular season success, insane 40 point games, only to go cold and unclutch at MSG, anything but a second round appearance come 2024 will be unacceptable. The guy who Cleveland gambled their future for, Mitchell's time's now to take the franchise to another level. Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics, from signing the largest contract in NBA history, all eyes will be on the soon to be 8 year vet, one of the most polarizing players, everybody's got different opinions on JB, will turn 27, first day of the regular season, came off a career year 26.6 points, 7 boards, just a par playmaking, 49% from the field, but struggled in key playoff games. Lackluster 22.7 points, a near equal ratio of assists to turnovers, from the famous quote telling Taylor Rooks he gotta have 5 championships by 28. How many championships 28 year old Jalen got? I'm not gonna jinx myself, but I said in 6 <laughs> years, I'm gonna go ahead and say 5 or 6. I'm gonna say that. So I'm gonna give it a 5. You know what I mean? 5 rings by 28. That's right. An absolute travesty of a remark. Five years later, still looking for his first. That statement, now curse. 
currently owns the largest NBA purse, going left his absolute worst. 8 turnovers game 7, 1 of 9 from 3, what percentage? Just 11. Largest basketball deal ever made, now needs to play for real, get a better field. June 2024, banner revealed or be concealed. Boston better be NBA champs, otherwise JB's gonna get clamps. The C's left no choice, made a huge gamble, with teammate Tatum eligible for another massive contract soon, all that cap space taken off, still not trustworthy with the ball in his hands, plays aggressive, but half the time, careless, avoidable decisions with the lack of ball security, when teams adjust and game plans for him, JP simply get exposed way too easily, too often, now many questioning whether he's good enough to help Boston win a title as the number 2 option, all that playoff experience, and still needing to be more discipline to play smarter ball, JB must fix his flaws, improve if he ever wants to take his game to another level, if he ever wants to win a ring. Jalen Brunson of the New York Knicks, absolute stud, after a season, already looking like one of the greatest free agent signing in Knicks history, now 27 years old, heavily improved, an effective go-to move, plays with good pace and discipline, showed out last two playoffs, a player the Mavs could forever regret not extending, a Knicks fan favorite, Absolutely big time, many who were unfamiliar with his game confused why he was a $100 million guy, now massively respected around the league, one of the players most likely to make his first all-star team come next season, amazing playoff numbers nearly 28 a game, 5 and 6, drives under pressure from being mocked as part of the so-called mid-3 to overpaid and undersized, proven to be New York's best player, one of the clutch points leaders, the calm demeanor, his presence alone, not counting his basketball abilities, already makes his team better, all eyes will be on the two-time NCAA champion, come 2024, many more epic garden moments awakes. Jamal Murray of the Denver Nuggets, it took a while after the ACL injury to regain back to full form, mission finally accomplished after playing amazing playoff basketball, helped the Nuggets win his first ever title, one of the best offensive second options for a championship team, numbers of 26, 6 and 7, the closer in key games, shines brightest in the postseason, one of those players whose games absolutely built for the playoffs, the crazy shot making, confidence, killer instinct, still young enough to move fast, knowing what he's capable of, playing with the same group of key guys for another season, will be 26 till February 23rd, the Nuggets chemistry on point before the start of the 22-23 season, his name barely ever mentioned as an X-Factor, many question whether he even be the same, only to get even better, now in discussion, perhaps the best player in the 2016 class, way too good to be left off the all-star team, everything he's accomplished last season, all the incredible unstoppable moments, Jamal will be on a mission again, looking to add more to a potential Hall of Fame career. Bam out of bio. The now 26 year old already heading to year 7, came off numbers of over 20 and 9, been Miami's best regular season player, already 4 defensive teams, the 2 time all star might be undersized for his position, but the defense second to none, represents the true meaning of what a real Miami Heat player represents, his impeccable switches, not the prettiest offensive game, might never be more than a 22 point scorer, knowing Jimmy Butler doesn't have many elite years left, the uncertainty of getting older stars, Bam knows it's next season Season to win it or never. Had it not been his offense against the Nuggets, Miami be losing every game by double digits. Bam often voiced his frustrations about his lack of defensive player of the year voting in past years, will likely be the preseason favorite, looking to have another monster year and finally make his first All-NBA team. Mikhail Bridges of the Brooklyn Nets, from getting traded by the Sixers to elevating his status as the perfect modern 3 and D to playing every possible game first 5 seasons, the now 27 year old not so young anymore, came in as a 22 year old, knows his role as well as anybody, a true competitor, 2 time NCAA champion, took his game to another level after traded to Brooklyn, unleashed, averaged 26 points 27 games, looked like an all star, already made first team all defense in 2022, 3 years left in his deal, for a reasonable price, if Brooklyn stays mediocre with no playoff hopes, it's possible teams could be piling up draft picks to land one of the most premier two-way players who's been playing his absolute best basketball last 12 months, can fit in on any team, appear to be entering the early stages in his prime. If he balls out but the Nets stink, the offers will be eye-popping, perhaps a name to look out for come the deadline.
the minus bonus of the Sacramento Kings, finally being the difference maker helping the franchise get back to the playoffs. The 6'11 center came off a memorable season, finished 7 in MVP voting, 3rd team all NBA in the conversation as 3rd most valuable center behind Jokic and Embiid, 19, 12 and 7 average, now a 3 time all star, 27 years old, will have to be better come next postseason, the team signing a bunch of big bodies, experimenting who's most impactful, Domas didn't have the most memorable playoffs, lackluster 16 and 11 average, needs to add a reliable shot and be more confident in the bigger stage, being selective with his shot choices all regular season, come playoff time, if he continues to struggle when open, it's a big issue he must address. If Sacramento wants to get past the first round, had Harrison Barnes not choked game 4, the Kings might have beaten Golden State in 6, Domas with his improvement over the years, the best yet to come. Honorable mentions includes Larry Marketing, an absolute monster season with Utah on a team that tanked last week of the season, a year under his belt in Salt Lake, one of the most slept on teams, Brandon Ingram after struggling for Team USA, out to prove doubters wrong, to remind everyone why he's a former number 2 pick, Christos Porzingis, relatively healthy 2023, will now play on a contender, slowly getting better after the injuries. Kyle Kuzma, the king of empty stats on a bad team, will have lots of fun with his buddy Jordan Poole, the light-skinned hoops nation's capital. Miles Turner, still just 27, actually made big improvements last season, 18 points a game, respectable outside shooter and defender, still has ambitions trying to become a true all-star. Thanks so much for watching this video. Which player entering their primes will have the biggest jump from last season? Let me know your thoughts below and I'll see you next time.